Hi and hello, welcome to online biology class because of ideal others educational institution and the youth. I am Sadish Kumar going to take down the class regarding the topic of origin and evolution of life. So this is the unit number 19 for 10th standard biological science. So today's topic we are seeing about the evolution theories and the evidence for evolution. These are the two topics we are going to be seeing about today's video. Before we are enter into the topic we can see some of the basic animation regarding this topic. What are the things we have to see? In So this is the animation view we know about our earth mother earth how the mother earth is rotating so it is in the form of always rotating and it was rotating around the sun so we have we are believing some of the things which is originated from the earth so according to that this is the diagrammatic representation how the earth is formed from the world and second one we know very well the earth which is surrounded with air water and soil then some of the land surface which is covered with ice glorious and water then this is the surface of the ice glorious which is slowly the earth is get cooled then after that sedimentation the earth which starts the generation and the formation of various types of organism the first formed organism is called prokaryotic organism the prokaryotic organisms are in the form of unicellular organism the after the completion of prokaryotic organism the development of multicellular organism they are in the form of eukaryotic organism so this is the diagrammatic view the earth which is slowly get cooled and the formation of small small atoms then finally the atoms are produced with the various types of organism and this is the animated view of the all small atoms are converted and they are joined together and become into the molecules without atoms there is no molecules the molecules are converted into a small and large component the components are developed into a new organism and and this is the another one uh, diagrammatic representation the chemical evolution the chemical evolution is scientific evolution which is given by the parin and Haldin. then this is the scientific experiment which is proved that uh, by means of a chemical component the organism is formed on the earth then another one you have a, another one topic uh, this is the evolution of human being the human being we are originated from the chimpanzee then slowly it will be developed and formation of new organism so these are the things are seen about today's topic so we are seen about today's topic with the lesson uh, lesson name the unit name is origin and evolution of life then what are the topics the subtopics we are going to be seen about today's topic so theories on the origin of life and the evidence evidence for evolution so theories and the origin of life which means the some of the basic theory which can give some of the ideas and uh, proved some of the experiment by means of the formation of life how it is originated and next one the evidence for evolution so evolution we know very well it is a gradual development adaptation of each and every type of the organism is called an evolution then how the evolutions are start these are the things we have to see in about today's topic then before that we can know about the learning object of today's class the know about the big bang theory and the origin of universe so universe means world the big bang theory the big bang theory which means the solar system which is in the form of formed with 15 billion years ago how it was formed by means of the solar system itself the formation of all types of planet how the planets are formed all these things are seen about today's topic then understand the theories of origin of life we have various theories which is proposed by various scientific persons and the innovative persons they are give some kind of basic ideas that is called theories and discuss the process of evolution basis on the available of evidence then how evolution is takes place then depending upon the evidence fossil evidence and some of the uh, diagrams and uh, some of the evidence which is given by the older organism by means of these things we can see about the adaptation an introduction the living organism possess a distinct characteristics which means each and every type of organism they are having a different types of character and display the organizational and fundamental functional unity 
and each and every type of organism they are having a defined structure and they have the separate functional unity all they are not done in the same function and entail the mechanism of origin and evolution is diversities of and maintain the balance relation with the nature so each and every type of organism they are play the vital role for the environment and by the same time the environment which is in the form of stable and maintain in the balanced environment because of reason we are having different types of organism for example simple example we are seen about the plants the plants are eaten by herbivorous animal the carnivorous herbivorous animals are eaten by omnivorous and carnivorous animal the carnivorous animals are eaten by the omnivorous animal so the ecosystem is balanced like that the environment is become in the form of universe and neutral so it is a stable form of the nature and second one so we can see the gradual development how the organisms are formed from the world it so starts from billions of years ago just we can we cannot be imagined with the 10 years 20 years or 15 years so we have the blend of changes within the 20 years or 30 years or 40 years but we cannot be imagined we are formed the earth the mother earth is formed before billions 15 billions of years we cannot be imagined then slowly the organisms are formed in the world the slowly 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 then each and every types of organisms are available now the superior man the superior organism of the world or the biosphere is called a human being we are a social animal and we are adapted we are having a different kinds of character it is exposed in our nature it is takes place on 15 million years ago and most of the aspect of evolution indicate that the knowledge of past uh, has become an essential and fully understand the present so each and every type of evolution which is proposed by means of past past means older and previous and they are essential based on the essential things the new ones are formed in olden days the human being originated from the chimpanzee they are walking with four legs now we are walking with two legs because of the reason the essential the two hands are need for carrying with some other works that's why the adaptation is being on and the life since it is becoming the earth had changed throughout the time so each and every type of time now we are in the uh, time of 21st century to uh, 2020 then 2040 they have some kind of changes in 2050 nothing yet anything it will be happen on the world so that is called changes through the time and the history of the comprise this two aspect one is the origin of life on the earth and the other is a mechanism involved the gradual changes and the adaptation of living organism through the time which is known the evolution life two things are very important one is called the origin of life how the earth is formed then what are the character which is available on the earth and second one how it was adapted what are the changes olden days the earth is too much of hot now it is become in the form of stable again we are buried the land what would be happen we have seen some kind of the heat so everything is changed and they are done in some kind of adaptation and the origin of earth so origin of life is linked with the origin of earth so without earth there is no life so without life there is no earth so both are in the form of illa right and left then the big bang theory explains the origin of universe it's a very important theory which is exposed by the how the earth is formed by means of a big bang theory and this is the diagrammatic representation of big bang theory which is starts from billion years 15 billion years ago then the stars are stars become 10 billion years ago then sun is starts from 5 billion years ago then then the molten of the earth which is starts from 5 4.5 years billion years of years ago the first ocean which is starts from 3.8 billion of years ago so these are the things are not in your textbook many kind of the diagram and many kind of the explanation when i was explain at the time, time of class and at the time of video presentation some of the things are not available in your textbook so please my dear friends so uh, please listen all these things and find out and understand the concept what i am trying to to explaining you and it is a process that uh, the universe had exploding the beginning the big bang so beginning of the earth it is a very complication and originated from 15 million years ago 15 billions of years ago the universe is comprised of stars clouds gas dust which is formed the glaciers the glaciers means ice ice which is formed then first is a hot again cold then slowly it is comes out into the normal position 
The solar system was probably created when the gaseous cloud starts and collapses due to the forces it own gravity forming atoms and particles. Before that I told you the small small articles, the atoms, the particles, the dust particles, they are joined together and they are converted into a large atoms. The large atoms are settled down and formation of hard surface of the soil. And the atoms does uh, just the dust grains and gaseous dust arranged from the clumps and grave of rises of plantlets. So planets, which is consist of various types of things, then this is forms a solar system of the Milky Way glory galaxy. So from that to the entire of our world, we are seen the Himalayan region, we are seen in the Arctic region, fully in the form of white milk in color. So everything is in the form of ice glorious. Then Earth was supposed to have been is formed about four million years back the leaf appeared in the 5 million sorry 500 million years after the formation of earth so immediately formation of the world we cannot be originate the human being and we cannot be originate with any type of organism it will be take down with only 500 billion years ago then uh, this is the thing so each and every time of the world what it will be happen first diagram explain with the hot surface of the earth second one the cold surface of the earth third one formation of some of the plants and animal and next next diagram they have some kind of gradual development so everything is based on the atoms and molecule the small organisms is formed then after that the multicellular organism then some of the organism they are not adapted with the particular environmental condition it is is totally eliminated with the world and some of the organism is fully adapted to the environment still it was surveying the generation from the world and the theories of origin of life so many theories have been speculated to explain the origin of life the views of origin has been uh, for for the put forth as so many kinds of theory big bang theory then a biogenesis theory, a biogenesis theory, chemical evolution and extraterrestrial theories, the many kinds of theories they are trying to explain how the world is formed. Then first one, a special creation. It is a very basic idea we know about uh, from many stories how the world is formed and each and every type of religion also explained with some kind of basic stories how the earth is originated. First uh, the special creation, this is the idea is the embodies of the life on the earth is a divine creation and also attributes to the uh, supernational, uh, supernatural event in the particular time of past. It is also emphasized that life has not changed over here since this origin. So we know very well that the Adam Yeval story from that Adam Yeval, they are the first human beings in the world and by the same time they are created plenty of peoples in the world like that. The special creation which gives some kind of basic ideas. And second one, the spontaneous generation or abiogenesis. So the world which is formed with non-living matter, the world which is formed with non-living matter. So the according to this theory, the life is originated the spontaneously of time, the lifeless matter. So lifeless matter means without a living substance. It is a non-living substance. It was believed by the fishes is originated from the mud, frog from the moist soil and insect from the decaying matter. It's a very important evidence. So the mud from the mud soil itself, the formation of fishes and the moist soil, they have some kind of watery surface from that itself formation of frogs and the insect are formed with the decaying matter. So now that is a decaying means it is a dead and decaying organ organism is composed with a non-communicating substance from that itself formation of insect. So this is the non-living substance and the formation of uh, yeah, superficial and abiogenesis characters. And biogenesis, it is a very important thing and basic concept. The world is originated from a living things, formation of living organism to another living type of organism or unicellular organism to multicellular or simple organism to complex organism. The theory was proposed by Louis Pasteur. The person Louis Pasteur which is played a vital role in the field of microbiology and by the same time he was done variety of activities and done plenty of discoveries for the human life. So the Louis Pasteur proposed this theory in the year of 1862 uh, that life is originated from the pre-existing 
everlasting life that means the human can produce with another human the cow can produce with another cow like that the pre existing organism he shows that the pre sterilized flask and kept the closed air light and killed yeast did not give rise to any life and while the another flask kept to open air and living organism arose from the killed yeast so this is the experiment explanation by done by the louis pasteur and extraterrestrial or cosmic origin some of the scientists still believe that the life comes from our uh, outer space this states the unit of life is called spores or panserima where is transport a different planet including earth this still this idea some of the astronomers that is the alien story the alien story which is give still some of the people they are believing the organism or the people they are comes out from the space or the, from the other planet so that is another one type of story which is given by that uh, uh, fl flying plate and all other things which is given this diagrams and the chemical evolution of life this is a scientifically accepted theory of evolution so it is a basic idea which is given by the parin and proposed in the year of 1922 and halden in, in the year of 1929 the theory that the oil consisting prevailing the earth life arose by a series of sequential chemical reaction by means of chemical reaction only the life is originated so this is the basic idea so commodity and protein world and rna world protein and rna then formation of world so from the simple organism to formation of complex organism it is always accepted one so the scientifically accepted theory is called the chemical reaction theory and the first form of life would have been from the pre existing and non living inorganic molecule which gave uh, rise to a formation of device in this organic molecule which is transferred into the colloidal system to produce life so this theory is fundamentally accepted by from the non living organism to the living organisms are formed but only one changes the inorganic molecules are converted into organic molecules the inorganic molecule means it is in the form of a chemical substance and organic molecule which means in the form of a natural substance and this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of the chemical uh, based theory then the modern concept of chemical evolution regarding origin of life was accepted which is given by the two scientist name and diagram is given here and the evidence for evolution so how the evolution is takes place we need some of the evidence so if the world is in the form of ball like structure so we need evidence so like that the evidence are given by the evolution are seen by the following uh, topics so the evolution can be better understand only by the observing the interrelationship between the existing organism and, and also uh, relating the similarities with the extinct organism so the evidence which is understand about uh, currently available organism and the some of the organism is eliminated from the world so comparing these two organism we are understand about the adaptation and the evolution so why this organism is available in the world and why the particular organism is not available in the world for example we are seen that the lizard is available nowadays but dinosaur is not available in the world we are seen about these two things then why the dinosaur is eliminated from the world that is called the evidence and the inner relationship of the organism is also supported by the evidence from the different branches of biology so the blend of branches of biology so biology is a vast area we cannot be imaginate and we cannot be combined with the single word we are in the form of blend of branches the evidence are support the concept that all organism have evolved from a common ancestors so basic idea so muda the year that is called ancestors that is originated from each and every type of organism each and every type of other organism we are having a forefathers so they are the basic source then we are originated and we are produced by our parents then our parents are produced by our own grandparents our grandparents are produced by their own parents like that it is a ancestor criteria and next one the evidence of morphology and anatomy so morphology means external appearance anatomy means internal appearance the comparative study of morphology anatomy of the mammals reveal that they possess a common set of characters
both the morphology and anatomy they are having a common set of characters and by means of these things we are classifying the organism and how they are done the performing this work and first one the fundamentals of evolution the evidence of evolution from the morphology and anatomy of homologous organ homo means same the same type of organ but they are done in the different types of work what are the works done by the same type of organ in the different types of animal you will see later then homologous organs so the homologous organ those which inherited from the common ancestor with the similar developmental patterns in the embryos so from the ancestor from forefathers to the characters are transferred which starts from the embryo itself from the fetus itself the characters are developed the four limbs of the mammals are the homologous structure four limbs we are having a hand we are having a wing uh so leg then these are the things are varied from organism to organism then different types of organism used with different function and the human hand frog leg cat frog uh, front leg of the cat flipper of the whale bat wing look a uh, dissimilar and adapter for the different function their mode of development based on the structure bone are similar so we will see in that human hand front leg of the cat flipper of the whale and the bat wings they are having a different morphological character but all they are formed with a bone so it is a anatomical character so that is a similar bone and this is the diagrammatic representation of human hand front leg of cat flippers of wheel wings of bat and analogous organ different so analogous are similar and perform a similar function but they are different origin so same type of organ same type of function but differently they are originate and development pattern the functions of wings of bat wings of birds and wings of insect are similar but they are structure are different so the bat wings are different insect wings are different and by the same time birds wings are different so this is the diagrammatic representation of the bat wing bird wing and the insect wings and these versatile versatile organs so the degenerated non functional organs of the animal is called versatile organs to mark question the same organs are found in the well developed and functional uh, functional in the some of the related forms some of these versatile organs in the man is vermiform appendix which is available in our lower upper abdominal cavity appendix and the nictitating membranes and the sacuedal vertebra and the coccyx these are the non usage organ which is available in our body but there is no use in the particular types of organ so this is a nictitating membrane which is available in this eye and the pointed canines which is available in the mouth third molar of the teeth vermiforming appendix pyramids of the muscles hairs of the body and uh, mammary of male, male and segmented muscles in the abdomen and the caudal vertebrae and some of the uh, ear also consists of a hairs these are the unwanted things they are not done in the any function from our body and uh, activism so this uh, reappearance of the ancestral character from the some individual is called activism example presence of rudimentary tail in the newborn babies and presence of thick hair in the human body so we will see that a rudimentary tail which is available in the baby and the hairs which is available in the human body this is a activism and the evidence for embryology so the embryology which is play the vital role that each and every types of animals and mammals they are having a same type of embryo development but adult stage they are having a different characters the study of comparative embryology is a different animals support the concept of evolution the embryos from the fish to mammals then fish is a small or first mammalian uh our core data but the mammals are superior animals are similar in the early stage and development all they are in the early stage are same the differentiation in the special character appear in the later stage of development after certain kind of development only we are find out the some of the different types of character and the morphological and anatomical changes in the embryos so this is the diagrammatic representation fish salamander tortoise chick rabbit and a human being the embryos they are having some kind of changes from each and every type of stages but the early stage of this embryo all they are look like a same 
and the biogenetic law and recapitulating theory was given by the Ernest Haeckel. According to this theory, the antigeny and recapitulate phylogeny, the stage of the development of this individual, the animal repeats the evolution of history, the entire uh, race, race in of the animal, the biogenetic law, which is play the vital role, the formation of each and every type of animals. Then evidence of paleontology, then paleontology deals with the study of fossils. So we are known about a very variety of fossils. In Tamil Nadu, we are having Arilo districts. The blending of fossils are available. The Leander no Darwin C is called the father of paleontology. So Leander no Darwin C is a very good artist. And by the same time, he's in the form of studying about the fossils. The study of fossils help to the understand the line of evolution in the many invertebrate and vertebrate. So the fossil only give the basic idea regarding the invertebrate and vertebrate, how the organisms are formed in the world, how long it will be in the world, then how many years before it was died. All these characters are given by, by means of the fossil study. So we will see that uh, the Leander no Darwin C and the fossil evidence of the dinosaur. Then fossil record shows that the evolution has taken a gradual process of simple to a complex organism. It is a basic concept. So the initial stage we are in the simple organism. Then after some stage only we are becoming into the complex organism. The origin of modern birds is uh, supported with the evidence of from the spanitology. And next one we are seen about the Archaeopteryx is a bird. The Archaeopteryx is the oldest known as a fossil bird. It was early bird like from the found in this uh, Jurassic period. The Archaeopteryx bird which is available in this Jurassic period. It is considered to be a connecting link between the reptiles and birds. It is having some kind of connecting link between the reptiles and the birds. It had the wings like wings with the feathers. They are having a wings with the feathers like a bird. It had a long tail and a claw digits of conical teeth like reptiles. They are having a wings and by the same time the mouth which consists of a teeth like a reptiles. So this is our Chartrix board. So thank you very much. So up to this we are seen about the first topic of origin and the evolution of life. The following topics we are seen about various theories, Lamarckism and Darwinism. These are the very two important theory which is explained how the origin of life and organisms are developed. You will see in the later. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. Thank you very much.